We're going to begin with election 2023 and Kentuckians heading to the polls today to cast their ballots for the state's highest offices. And that includes Kentucky Governor, Republican nominee and current Attorney General Daniel Cameron cast his ballot this morning in Louisville. ABC 36's Justin Walker has been following Cameron today and he joins us live from the Louisville Marriott downtown with more. Hey Justin. Good evening, Doug. That's right. There's certainly a lot of confidence and excitement here for the Cameron campaign. Now, Cameron telling the media this week he will win this election. Of course, we'll have to wait until every vote is counted just to see if that holds true. Now, we caught up with Cameron earlier this morning as he voted. Cameron casting his ballot at Wilder Elementary this morning in Louisville with his wife and son. Cameron says he's run a very robust campaign. He says if Kentuckians want leadership that is going to reflect their values, eliminate the state's income tax, and get violent crime under control, that he's their guy. As the campaign waits for the polls to close, Cameron says he plans to spend a lot of time with his wife and son before the Republican Party's victory party at the Marriott Hotel in downtown. And of course, that's where I am right now. We have our team all across the state ready to bring you the latest results. Now, polls will be closing in about three hours, so we'll keep you updated. I'm live in Louisville, Justin Walker for ABC 36 on your side. All right, Justin, thanks. We'll see you soon. And his opponent and incumbent Andy Bashir looking for another term as governor. Bashir casting his ballot last week as he encouraged Kentuckians to take advantage of early voting. ABC 36's Anna Medina live in Louisville to break down what we can expect from the incumbent. Hey, Anna. Hello, Doug. We're here at Paris Town Hall at Old Forester in Louisville, where in just a few hours, things are going to brighten up for the Bashir campaign as they await those results. But let's talk about Andy Bashir. He's the incumbent governor right now. Now, he was elected back in 2019, right after, at the time, Governor Matt Bevin. And Bashir has seen many events throughout his campaign, from the Western Kentucky tornadoes to the Eastern Kentucky floods to the COVID-19 pandemic. Throughout it all, he tried to keep Kentucky as positive as possible, encouraging them with his daily briefings, saying, we're going to get through this together. Now, Bashir is the son of former Governor Steve Bashir. According to many, the race will test whether a Democratic incumbent can survive in a deep red state. Some of the highlights from Bashir's term have been record investments to the state with the addition of jobs and companies relocating to the bluegrass. Since the beginning of the race, Bashir and his running mate Jacqueline Coleman have been advocating for teacher races and universal pre-K. Another big topic has been abortion. Bashir has been vocal about supporting abortion rights. Now there's a lot at stake at this race, so we're going to hope to update you with those results later today. So stay with ABC 36 throughout tonight. For now, live in Louisville, Anna Medina, ABC 36 on your side.